so calm. Mom, Nyla! Where Nyla? Nyla! More soca. More soca. More soca. More soca. You see this flag? Tell the people about soca music. This music is to unite Trinidad and Tobago. Take it, love. Take it. More soca. More soca. More soca. More soca. More soca.
Shorty I died, and this is a dream, in a way, to see that, you know, at this 20th uh, anniversary of his death, we could celebrate him in this way. Um, and soca music, you know, the creation of soca music, uh, and his intention was to unite Trinidad and Tobago, and we are really proud of Nyla that she could. This song and Desperados, what they have done is fantastic and marvelous, and they're happy to be a, a part of this. So, so your feelings of the arrangement? I mean, you know how, you know how you felt that they would have treated this piece of music. Wow, this this was this was excellent. It's, it was well executed, and um, I mean, it's the. the the response from the audience that speaks for itself. Yes, um, I think the significance of this perform performance for, for me and for us as a family is significant. And I really, really want to thank Despers for, for making this choice. And I want to congratulate Naila on this fantastic piece of work. And, and I want to, um, and I, you know, we, we are honored as a family to have, you know, have him remembered at this, at especially this year makes it 20, 20 years since his wow. passing you know wow. so it's a real it's a real um, it's a real uh, it's an honor we are humbled and honored the, the whole of Trinidad and, and the world who is watching on the 12 from the 10th to the 12th of July this year we going is when the 12th of July is like the actual date when he died and we're going to have a huge celebration in Piparo on the Blackman Ranch and you're all welcome I feel amazing. I thought that Desperados did an exceptional job of this rendition. Like it was fantastic. The energy was up. Um, the crowd's energy was up, and I was just intertwined. So I'm I'm really proud of what happened here tonight. And yes. when you when you when you did this song, did you envision anything like this? Well, um, you know, I always wanted to have my songs be played in Panorama. Um, culture is very important to me, and I always want to be a part of something cultural. You know, it's one thing, you know, you sing songs and you, you do perform in all effects, but it's another thing when you're part of an integrated in culture um, and not just the party and that comes with Carnival, you know? So, yeah. yeah. So when you composing now, are you now composing with the pan in mind? Sometimes, yeah, because um, a pan melody is always a lot more melodious than, um, than a non-pan melody. Um, so the melodious melodies are the ones that sticks in your head faster. So it's just a little trick um, that my old pan tutor told me, you know. Pan because, melodies stick more. Yeah, yeah. And, and I recognize with pan, you know, they always have a kind of vamp, you know, so, and, and you, you catch that, you know, so like, you know. The woman on the bass pump, you know, so things that they can develop and, and make things happen with the music itself. Definitely. All right. So thank you very again, much, Naila. Congratulations and a good job well done. Thank so you so much. I know, Keep up the good work. I know we may see you again later on because band number 11 is also playing your song. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I will be here later. We'll see you in what capacity, but you will see yes. me again. <laughs> okay. Thank okay you then. Too. Thank you very much. Thank now we you. have the man of the moment.